Hey guys, it's John coming back from our tiny cabin project. Uh, today we're actually going to be talking about acorns. Stay tuned. So me and Charles just got back from going to the cabin this weekend and while I was there I harvested some fresh acorns. What we're going to talk about in this video is how to prepare the acorns so that they're safe to eat. You cannot just pick up acorns off the ground and eat them. They have way too many tannins in them. They will be way too bitter. And if you do manage to eat them, they'll probably make you sick. So I'm going to show you the steps to take to prepare acorns so that you can eat them as nuts. Or you can make acorn bread or even make coffee out of the acorns. So what I'm doing first is I am pouring my acorns into a bigger bowl so that way I can fill it with water and separate the floating acorns from the ones that sink. The floaters are not good and usually contain bugs. And now you see that we've got it completely filled with water. What I am going to just be doing here is stirring around the acorns for a minute just to make sure I can get any and all of them to float to the top and loosen up any dirt or debris that is on the acorn. Now that that's settled, I am scraping off all the floating acorns on the surface of the water. All these acorns will either be busted, hollowed out, or contain weevils or insects inside of them, which you don't really want to eat. And as you can see, we really didn't lose too many. Now that I've got them separated out, I am just straining the dirty water of any debris. And I'm just going to give them one final rinse before filling them back up with water. I am now pouring them back into the big bowl to fill completely back up with water. And you'll want to let your acorns soak in the cold water for about an hour, just long enough to soften up the shell and make cracking them a little easier. And as you can see here, I'm showing off my awesome nutcrackers, AKA vice grips. Now not to gross you guys out, but this is the little weevil worm that you'll oftentimes find living inside of an acorn, making a home out of its food. And now I'm starting to crack my acorns. What I usually do is just crack them right down the middle and then use my fingernails to work off the actual shell separating it from the nut. And this is what the meat of your acorn should look like. A nice pale off-white with a thin brown coating on the outside. It took about an hour or so to crack all of these and I've got an overfilling bowl of beautiful acorns ready to move on to the next step. What we're doing is I am boiling two pots of water at the same time. I'm going to put the acorns into the first part and let them boil for about 15 minutes. The water is going to turn a very dark brown. This is the tannins releasing from the acorns, at which point I will strain the water from them and throw the acorns into the second pot. And now we're straining that first batch. You can see here how dark the water has become. You want to boil these over and over until the water runs clear. I'm just transferring them to the second pot. And I will start my third pot of water boiling, as you can see here. I've repeated this step about five times until the water stayed clear. And now we are spreading a thin layer 
of acorns on our baking sheets, getting them ready to dry out and roast in the oven. And I'm popping them in the oven now. I am setting my oven to 350 degrees. I am baking them for one hour to get them super dry and roasted to make coffee. Now that it's been about an hour, I'm removing them from the oven. And you can see that they are a nice chocolate brown. These are a little bit too dry to eat as is. These are for coffee. Now that they've had time to cool, I am laying them on a paper towel and I'm going to cover them with another paper towel to get a finer grind when I smash the acorns. You can see now that I am pretty much smacking the crap out of my acorns with this pan to get a finer ground. And this is actually a pretty fun process and it can relieve a lot of pent up stress and anxiety. Now I'm just going to be transferring these to my mason jar for storage. All of that work, I got about half a jar, so you can see that a lot goes into preparing acorns, but I think overall it's very worth it. Now for this coffee, I am doing three heaping tablespoons of coffee grounds. I should have probably ground them up into a little bit of a more finer grind. I'm popping the pot in. And as you can see, it is a pretty weak brew. It's more like a tea. But the taste turned out wonderful and I'll just use more next time. Mmm. Pretty good, very acorny. Well, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, those are the steps to go over for how to prepare your acorns. Um, as I said earlier, I baked them a little extra long to get that kind of coffee roast flavor. I made the coffee pretty weak as you can see, uh, but when you first make acorn coffee it's a taste that you might want to try out a little less strong and work your way up and adapt to. You can also ground them up super fine and make an acorn flour and bake bread the same way that you would bake bread with regular flour. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notified of future uploads, and as always, Stay tuned. See you next time.